one of which is, you know, the Pope said he's going to, he feels for these people and he weeps for them, or God weeps for them. He didn't say he whipped for them, which is interesting. So I guess he doesn't really care. He just knows that God cares. And uh, so far, he hasn't made one arrest, kicked out one priest. And he admits there's at least 2%. He says, he says it himself, 2%. So that would be 8,000 pedophiles in the Catholic Church. And, but yet, I'm not going to kick anybody out. And I've been in two and a half years. So what's he doing there? Next segment, I'm going to have Jakari Jackson sitting in. We're going to talk about what's coming up on the InfoWars Nightly News. And he just showed me uh, an article. We're going to play some of that footage of the, I guess, the first Russian airstrikes in Syria. So that should be very interesting. I've got time for at least a couple more calls. I got, uh, let's see who's first. John in Michigan, go ahead. You want to talk about SV40? Yes, I was told this is in regards to the uh, monkey virus, the SV40. Um, well, uh, what I was specifically looking for was SB277, which is the repeal of the mandatory vaccination bill that was signed in California to force children to take vaccines. But I do know about SV40 and how that was in the polio vaccine and given to hundreds of thousands of people, I think even uh, several million people in the United States for many years. And now we have a, a cancer epidemic. Who'd have thunk it? You're correct because it's genetic. It goes from one generation to the other. Sure does. And uh, as far as the vaccine in California, my son's out there, and I don't know. His his mother-in-law's and uh, works for uh, Kaiser, the Parma Tente, the, uh, the hospital uh, um, giant out there. But I, I'm not sure uh, what uh, they're going to have to deal with. They're going to probably homeschool. Yeah. Uh, it's, well, that, it's disgusting. You're going to see an increase of homeschoolings, which is going to you know, lead to an increase of people not wanting to pay their property taxes to fund these uh, public schools. Marcus, in California, you got a California guy. What do you have to say about SB277? Hey, how we doing? I'm doing great. What's going on? Well, you know, basically, they just crossed the line in the sand. I, I heard you mention, you know, you can't believe it, they got through with all the protests. Most everyone on the committee didn't even have any children. Right. Um, we know Senator Pan has been funded by Big Pharma through his campaign. Yeah, and one of Senator Pan's uh, uh, one, one one quick second. Telly Blackwood did a video about uh, one of Senator Pan's staffers who actually took a vaccine and became deathly ill. This guy was in a hospital bed speaking out against two seven seven and why he's pushing it through, and that vaccines do cause harm. But go ahead. Yeah, that that of course happened, and of course you guys covered that, but uh, that didn't make our news. I mean, they, I'm down in San Diego. That didn't come anywhere on the news. Of course not. But yeah, he, he was sick. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't I fit mean, the I'm agenda. Here. Well, exactly. I mean, we hope that they went too far and they went to the private schools. Maybe they could have got away with it if they would have stayed public. We got a lot of wealthy, very educated people, and they're not going to homeschool and they're not going to vaccinate. And that's just it. Yeah. You're going to see non-compliance, civil disobedience. That's what needs to happen. Non-compliance. That's the only way you're going to make your point. If you wedge yourself into that cog and say, nope, you're not moving any farther, then the cog will stop. And then they'll have to take notice. And when they start taking notice and they realize people are speaking out, then they'll start to change their ways. The last segment of the Overdrive is coming up. It's Rob Dew, Alex Jones Show, live. Final segment of the Overdrive Hour. This is Rob Dew hosting the Alex Jones Show Overdrive Fourth Hour. If you're not getting this on your local radio station, give him a call. It's on to pick up the fourth hour because we're doing it live from here on out. Uh, Alex was saying over the break about InfoWars Life Select Foods and how we have a one week left on that introductory offer, which was a two week introductory offer when we started it. I have some information for you. That introductory offer ends tomorrow night at 11.59 p.m. Central. And so... Yeah, they they got the food prices up there. I mean, amazing deals there. Lowest anywhere you can get on Infowars Select. Uh, you got the two week supply, four week, three month, six month, one year for just over fourteen hundred dollars. So that ends tomorrow night at eleven fifty nine p.m. They say midnight, but then that would make it tonight. So <laughs> Technical. We'll say eleven fifty nine tomorrow night. Also, Liver Shield is back in stock. Uh, Alex, you've heard him about his liver flush stories. I think we put up a video yesterday called The Most Disgusting Video You Need to See. And uh, they, they get into graphic detail about what comes out of your liver. And that's with the help of Liver Shield along with apple cider vinegar and uh, some distilled water, mm -hmm. some oxy powder and all that stuff. But it's a whole method that you have to do for about six days. I have not tried it yet, but if I do and when I do, I will let you know. 
But Liver Shield is now back in stock, so get yours today. Jakari Jackson's joining me for this last bit to talk about what's coming up on the InfoWars Nightly News tonight, every night, 7 p.m. Central, except for Saturday and Sunday. Jakari, what's going to come on? What's going to be on the show tonight? Well, we have the article that's on InfoWars.com put up by Kit Daniels talking about the pro. Second Amendment rally to counter the anti-gun rally that's going to happen at UT campus. So we'll have a special report from Joe Biggs documenting all that. And first of all, just say something real quick about that. Anybody who says that we're trolling this anti-gun group, just recall that back when we did the Alamo speech, they came and trolled us. They put up pictures of then Master Sergeant C.J. Grisham, U.S. Army, who is now retired. They put up his picture saying we have to go out here and counter protest this guy. So they've been doing it to us for a good while, so right. it's not... Just us uh, following them around and uh, trying to tack onto what they're doing. And hey, we just want to provide an open discourse of ideas. Yeah. We, Alex tried to talk to him and they got all physical with him in mm -hmm. his face at the Alamo. I mean, it was pretty disturbing the way these liberal trendies who want to be all open and all about freedom, how they want to come down on you if you don't agree with their agenda. Exactly right. And speaking about things coming down, we have this special report that's on the site right now, caught on tape. Dramatic footage of Russia's first airstrikes in Syria, if we can roll some of that footage. Now, this is a Zero Hedge article, but we also have an article put up by Kurt Nimmo. And the Russians told the United States that it should not fly U.S. warplanes in Syria, but gave no geographical information about where Russian plan to strike. About Russia plan to strike, the senior official said U.S. missions are continuing as normal. So you can go there and see all the dramatic footage of these strikes going on. Can we get Zero Hedge to change official to... Senior public servant. Okay, senior public senior servant. Public servant. <laughs> that, That's what we documented. need to start referring to him as. I'm sick and tired of hearing him being called officials. Yeah, so you can see the footage all right there, and we'll talk about this more on the nightly news. You can see the damage because I think, dude, we so much get into the zone where we just hear about something or, oh, it sucks for them. They're over in another country. Yeah. This is happening to real people. You yeah, know, if is. nothing else, just be concerned that these could be your kids, these could be your neighbors, or, you know, what if uh, one of your friends or family was out visiting someplace like this? In these airstrikes happen you have to take these things seriously and just like oh don't brush it off just like it's just another day another story i totally agree and this boy this is really dramatic footage that you guys were showing up there and we've got that up at infowars.com i mean that's the key if we don't put out the information the mainstream media is not going to put it out because they don't care about this information they want to see treat russia as the total evil bad guy when there's a lot we can learn from the russians there's especially in the health realm these guys have been looking at health in a lot of different ways and areas that we don't even touch. Yeah. And I think it's need we need to start coming together on a lot of these health issues. And let's look at vaccines. You know, let's come together and do the real studies on vaccines that we're not getting. So with that, join Jakari tonight, 7 p.m. Central, for the InfoWars Nightly News. We'll be back here tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's right, four hours of the Alex Jones Show. We'll see you tomorrow or tonight on the Nightly News. It's Rob Dew reporting.